Hi, hello. Today's lesson is going to be on the area of a sector and the length of an arc, two different portions of a circle. Uh, and we're going to first have to compare them to the whole area and the circumference of an entire circle before we get into the definitions. So we'll start with the area of a circle. The area of a circle is uh, given by the equation pi r squared, or r is the radius. So here we've got a circle where the radius is four yards. So our area is pi times four squared. Now we can evaluate the four squared and we'll get 16 pi as an answer. This is the exact answer. There's no rounding involved. Our answer is given in terms of pi. However, if we want something we can use a little more easily, something that kind of gets in our head what it is, we'll just take 16 and we'll multiply it by pi, which is about 3.14159, which is what I'm using. So we get that it's 50.3. Now our units are important. Area is measured in square units, so it's 50.3 uh, square yards. Now circumference, that's kind of like the uh, walking distance. It's the perimeter, and it's given by the equation 2 pi r. Or uh, two radiuses, two radii, is equal to the diameter. So we could use the equation pi times the diameter instead. And that's helpful here because we're already given the diameter. So the equation, or the exact answer, would be 15 pi. Again, exact answer, no rounding needed. Um, but to get our rounded answers, we'll uh, go ahead and multiply 15 and pi. And you get 47.1 uh, meters. So it is important the units you use. Uh, circumference is a distance, so we'll just use meters. And uh, again, area measures the space taken up. So its units are square yards or square meters. Now a couple of definitions. An arc is a portion of the edge of a circle. A sector, uh, a sector is a portion of a circle bound by two radii and an intercepted arc. So I'll draw what that looks like. I've got one radius and another radius, and then the arc that uh, is intercepted. So these three figures form our sector. A sector is really just a wedge. Think a slice of pizza or a slice of cake. Um, so a sector is named by uh, the two endpoints as well as the vertex of the central angle, whereas an arc is just named by its endpoints. So here we have arc PQ, and it's going to form sector P-O-Q. Now it is important to note that uh, with just two endpoints, uh, we always assume the minor arc, the smaller one. We could take the long way around for arc P-Q, but if we wanted to go the long way around, we need to specify a third point somewhere in the middle. So we can call that arc P-A-Q to be the major arc. But just point of note, uh, anytime you see an arc labeled with just two endpoints, it's automatically assuming the shortest distance. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to explore how we can find uh, how long um, an arc is and how much space a sector takes up. And so here in this circle, we're going to find the area of that sector. We're going to find the length of that arc. But first, we're going to relate them to the area and circumference of a circle. So let's start with the area. If we have a circle is pi r squared. Here our radius is 15. 15 squared is 225. So we have 225 pi. Again, this is the exact answer. If we want the rounded answer, we'll get that from a calculator. You just do 225 times pi, and we get about... 706.9 square millimeters. 
but this sector doesn't take up the whole circle. The angle of our sector is 120 degrees, and there's 360 degrees total. So that's kind of how much of the circle we take up, is 120 out of 360, which reduces to a third. So here we've got a third of a circle. So we'll take a third of the area. Luckily, this reduces down. One third out of 225 is 75. So it gives us the exact answer, 75 pi. But again, I'll want the rounded version of that. So I'll take 75, multiply it by pi in the calculator. And we end up with about 235.6 square millimeters. So that's the area of that sector, of that shaded region, 235.6 square millimeters. Now if I want to find the length of the arc, we'll do something similar. I'm going to find the area of the whole circle, and then we'll figure out what portion we actually care about. So the circumference of the whole circle is 2 pi r, so 2 times pi times uh, 15, because 15 is our radius. Uh, for an exact answer of 30 pi, right? 2 times 15 is 30. Uh, and then we can check our calculator for that. 30 times pi, which would give us approximately 94 square meter or 94 millimeters. But again, we need to pay attention to what portion of the circle we have. Uh, we ha have 120 out of 360, which is again a third. So we're going to go a third of our 30 pi, which luckily for us does reduce. It's 10 pi, a third of 30 is 10. And so checking with our calculator, 10 pi is about 31.4 uh, millimeters. All right, so now that we've uh, kind of figured out how to find the area of a sector and length of an arc, we'll get the actual formulas. So sector area is our central angle divided by 360. That tells us the portion of the circle we're looking at. And then we'll multiply that by the area of, of, a, of a full circle. So it's our angle out of 360 multiplied by pi r squared. And arc length is very similar. We'll take our angle out of 360 because that tells us what portion of the circle we're looking at. And then we'll multiply that by our circumference, 2 pi r. So let's work through two examples really quick. Here I've got two circles. I want to find the area of each shaded sector and the length of each minor arc. That's going to be important coming up. So the area of this sector. Our angle is 210, so we'll do 210 divided by 360, and our radius is 3. So altogether we have 210 out of 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 3 squared, which we'll just type everything into the calculator to get what the answer is. And it comes out to be about, if I go ahead and round, 16.5 square inches. Uh, and now I want to find the length of the minor arc. It is important that I said minor, which means we're going to have to go the short way around. We're finding the length of this arc. So now that arc is not 210 degrees. It's 150 degrees. Right, because there's 360 degrees in a whole circle, so you find the difference. 150 out of 360 tells us the uh, tells us the portion, and then we'll multiply that by 2 pi r, or 2 times pi times 3. 
I'm typing this all into a calculator, and we get the length to be uh, about 7.9 inches. All right, so that's it for uh, circle number one. Let's check circle number two. So similar setup, everything's all kind of the same. Uh, our area is our central angle to, out of 360, so 131 out of 360. Now we'll multiply that by the area of the full circle, pi r squared, so pi times 12 squared. Check in with our calculator, just typing all that in, 121 divided by 360 times pi times 12 times 12. And we get approximately 164.6 square meters. Now for arc length, luckily we are already looking at the minor arc. So we can take that 131 degrees just as is, 131 out of 360, multiply that by 2 pi r. So 2 times pi times 12. And our calculator will tell us what the total uh, arc length is there. And it comes out to be 27.4 meters. All right, now one place that we can actually use this in the real world is figuring out how long you need to water your lawn. I take good pride in how green my lawn looks in the middle of summer and in the and in the early spring. So every square uh, every square foot of grass in your lawn needs about uh, 0.62 gallons of water just to keep it healthy, uh, probably about once or twice a week. So if sprinkler, you put that in the corner of your yard, you can make it arc out a 90 degree arc. If it has a radius of 20 feet, I want to figure out how long we need to water our lawn. Now we can assume that our sprinkler has a flow rate of 10 gallons per minute. So here's our arc. That's what our sprinkler head is uh, spraying around and that area inside, you know, the edge of the lawn, that's going to tell us how um, much we're watering. Now, obviously, you know, we'd have to do this in a couple of different places, but to find out the time, first we need to figure out how much uh, water or how much area we're covering. Then once we find out how much area we're covering, we can figure out how much water we need to put down. And once we find out how much water we need to put down, we can uh, figure out how much time it's going to take. So the area of this arc is 90 over 360, right, the, that 90 degree angle, times pi times 20 squared. So we'll just check with our calculator. This will come up to be, um, this will tell us our approximate square footage. So 90 divided by 360 times pi times 20 times 20 is about 314.2 square feet. So that's the total area we're covering. Now, if we go back up into the problem, it says that we need 0.62 gallons of water for every square foot. So we can take our area and multiply it by 0.62. So we have 0 0.62 times 314.2 will tell us our, our uh, how much water we need, which comes out to be about 100. 94.8 gallons of water we need. So we need about 195 gallons of water put out onto our yard. All right, and uh, uh, a fair assumption is that our sprinkler has a flow rate of 10 gallons per minute. So if we're spraying water at 10 gallons a minute, 
and we need to spray 194.8 gallons, we can just divide those two to get, uh, to get the time. So 194.8 divided by 10 is about 19 and a half minutes. You can probably round that to 20. 